Princess Andre has revealed she didn't pass all of her GCSEs as she opened her results on an Instagram live with her dad Peter by her side. The teenager was heading home from her school after collecting her envelope with her famous dad in tow as she started reading out her grades to her social media followers. It's important to know that you worked really hard for what you got, Peter could be heard saying. Princess live reaction was watched by over 2,000 fans on the social media platform as she confirmed her results. Grades across England and Wales were traditionally marked A asterisk to U but since 2020, these have been replaced with a number scheme. Now, A987 means A asterisk to A, while 6, 5, 4 means B and C, 3, 2, 1 means D, E, F, G, a weak pass. While Princess stated that she didn't pass every exam, she said it was fine, as she proceeded to confirm she managed to score a 3 in business studies. She added, so basically, the way it works, a 4 is a pass and then below a 4 is a fail and a 9 is the highest you can get. I got a 3 in business, a 3 in drama, a 5 in English, 6 in fashion, 4 in music and a 3 in geography and maths. It's not bad, I'm annoyed at maths because I have to retake it. Her dad could be overheard saying, yeah but you got close, you got really close, as Princess added, yeah, I was 9 marks off getting a 4. Peter added, I saw you working hard, that's more important, you worked hard. I need to resit my maths, I hate maths, maths is like I never get maths, Princess commented. Peter went on to say, you got 89 but you needed 98, before Princess explained she needed to score 98 out of a possible 200 in order to pass the examination. I'm proud of you anyway, I am, Peter was overheard saying before explaining he was taking his daughter to McDonald's as a treat. Speaking previously about Princess, Peter wrote in his OK! magazine column in January, honestly, as long as she puts in 100% for effort I don't mind how she does and I wouldn't be upset if she got low marks. She will be going to college after her exams and she is going to be studying beauty therapy, which is brilliant. I've already taken her for her open day so she's getting really excited about it. But while Peter may have been on hand to support Princess, his ex-wife Katie Price previously told their daughter that she won't be becoming a scientist anytime soon. Discussing the pressures of schooling and exams, the reality star said, Princess is doing her GCSEs and I just say to her, chill out, what will be will be. Just don't stress yourself out. But when Katie's sister Sophie asked how Princess had been getting on, the model quipped, yeah her dad's strict with her, whereas I'm like, look, you're not going to be a scientist, let's be honest. She added, she knows what she's like. She knows she's not like, she says, mum I'm not gonna pass all my exams. I said, look all you can do is try your best. Revise just so you know you've done your best that's all you can do. But don't stress about thinking you've got to get as and all that. It is what it is at the end of the day. Over the course of the past year, Princess has attempted to follow in the footsteps of her mum, Katie after landing a modeling contract with Pretty Little Thing. Princess previously attended an event alongside the likes of Love Island stars Molly Mae Haig and Gemma Owen for the company. In June, she became the face of the brand's collection with Kappa and was seen modeling a khaki racer neck zip-up unitard. Away from her deal with the company, Princess has also taken part in a string of social media adverts for clothing brands, including Shane. But while her dad had concerns about a possible career in modeling, he shed light on her PLT contract, telling Closer magazine, with Pretty Little Thing, the deal she's got with them, is that once every couple of months or whatever, she'll post a picture of herself in an outfit that she likes, it's that simple. There's no photo shoots or taking days off school. If it's simple and it doesn't interfere with school, then it's fine.